Hey, we're back. Welcome back. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, first coffee. Uh, or, in this particular it's not coffee, it's something else. It's drinking gin. <laughs> okay, should not drinking Gotta gin. have something to be able to go to work. No, no. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Welcome back. Uh, we're back from vacation. And, um... The vacation was a little bit extended. We, we, we didn't take, we didn't, we didn't uh, record on um, la- last Monday either, did we? No. No, we didn't record on last Monday either. Uh, but we're back. We are back. Uh, as you know, if you've watched on the YouTube channel and seen some of the pictures that we put up on Facebook that, uh, hey, um, is that Paul? Paul, Paul Swanson, Bayfield, Wisconsin, uh, that uh, we were at the family reunion in, um, in Jefferson County, I was going to say Monticello, but it's not really Monticello. It's uh, it's drifting, really, isn't it? Lamont. We're in Lamont. We're in Bolin, right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're 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 all over the the Monticello triplex. <laughs> Monticello is just about twenty minutes east. <coughs> Excuse me, east of Tallahassee, so which is the state capital, by the way, and. Um, and that's where Debbie's family is from, and we were we were there for I don't know we were there Friday and Saturday, and Sunday we left, a- and then we left Sunday. So there you go. Mm-hmm. So if you wonder where we were, we were there. If you saw the pictures, that's where that is. Um, not a huge gathering because this this there were some circumstances that it was moved at the last minute, and um, so there weren't so a bunch of bunch of bunch of people there. Big reunion this time, but, but it was it, it was, was cool. Good. Yeah, it was cool. About it. it was an intimate gathering. All the cool and, people were there. Yes, like all the cool, all the cool kids were there. And the, <laughs> it, it, being an intimate gathering like that, you get to know people better, actually. So yeah. it was a lot of fun. It was fun. We had a, we had a good time. We had a good time. And then we came, and you didn't have to eat any coon. And I didn't eat any raccoon because that was a, that, that that's always a family joke. always a family in law joke about. The time that uh, I went to, was it Christmas or Thanksgiving? Christmas. Christmas. Because uh, he used to make them on Christmas. It was it was uh, my first Christmas uh, at Debbie's family home, up there, and um, her father thought it was really funny to, uh, basically, sh- sort of let me believe that the only thing that we were going to have for Christmas dinner was raccoon, knowing that knowing full well that I'm a city kid, <laughs> knowing full well I'm a city kid. My dad made a made a, a raccoon. Raccoon. Coon is what they call it in the country, um, and he made one every Christmas. That's what he would have. That that was one of our side dishes. My mom made the raccoon, the regular stuff. Dish. It was a side <laughs> part of the, of the meal. It was one of the meats of the meal. I'll put it like that. Hey, people, some people and, have um, turkey and ham. Yes, they have turkey, ham, all the raccoon, other stuff, squirrel. and and he would make a raccoon. <laughs> yeah, and people do that, and that and that's fine. But um, I wasn't really ready for that. In my head, I was a youngster. <laughs> I really wasn't ready for that. And that was all my mom put on the table from the beginning. They thought that was a, the, the funniest thing they'd ever seen. Because they just want to see how I, would, I did. They want to see how how I, I, I would react. And I would have eaten it. I would have eaten anything put in front of me because that's what you do. <clears throat> You don't go. I don't eat that because that's not how you behave. You know, that's how that we were taught to behave. It just no. That's enough. I have a little bit. Just mix it with some greens or some rice or whatever. And try to choke it down. That I mean that that was going to be my plan. That was going to be my plan, but <clears throat> but he didn't have to because, because there were other things because, to eat. Because my mother wanted bailed out of the joke <laughs> and let me know there was other stuff to eat, and they saw the relief in my face. So. That's <laughs> something we talk about every time we get together. But anyway, we had we ate some bad food, fried chicken, fried fish, all of the, the country foods that you can eat, potato salad, collard greens, and green beans with lots of ham in it, and all, all that. So I'll take something as healthy as a green bean and soak it in ham juice. And cook it to death. It's <laughs> but all that food is good. It's so. Delicious. Cornbread. <laughs> we had a, we had a really good time. We had a good time. We stayed with uh, Debbie's brother, my brother in law. We had a good time talking to him and and his wife for a little bit, and uh, it was fun. We had a good we had a really good time. As a matter of fact, it was it was, it was a nice relaxing trip. There was 
<clears throat> there were some certain timed things to do, but there was a lot of time where we didn't really have anything to do, so it was nice getting to, away. To relax. <clears throat> it was. Um, so it, if you have time, go out to the YouTube channel, and you can check out our trip going up and coming back and, and, um, and some time see there. some of the family. It was fun. Yeah, and, and and I know a lot of times that people don't like to go to those things because of some of the past things that have gone on in your family. Uh, it's a great time to go and get released from all that stuff. Just get released. Forget from, about the past. Just get released. Just get released. And from be all that thankful stuff. that you have family to share time <clears throat> with. And that was the whole reason that my cousin started this family reunion. And it is a, a it, it's a Scott family reunion. And it's uh, regarding uh, Alex Scott Sr. and Rainey Thompson Scott, um, who was my father's parents. And they had six children, six sons. And um, it, it's a gathering of all of their descendants, all of their kids and their grandkids and great grandkids and so on and so forth. And there were six of them. My father was the oldest. He was Alex Jr. And um, then um, my uh, Uncle Virgil and um, I can't think, Beatrice <laughs> and uh, Richard, William, and Charles. And out of all six of those, there's only two left now. Um, and that's my uncle Richard, who is the patriarch of the of the reunion. He's the the oldest, and um, my uncle William, his brother, and uh, who wasn't able to make the because of other family issues, he wasn't able to make it. But usually, all of us are there, and all of the it, usually it's huge. It's really big. So, but this one was a little miniature one. We wanted to keep it going and not not. Um, have things stop. So we have it every two years. And um, the next year we will be in Sanford. Sanford, Florida. Another thriving metropolis. <laughs> <laughs> Another thriving metropolis. Not far from Orlando, that area. Yeah. So not, not far from Orlando. <clears throat> not that I don't think any of us will be venturing into Orlando. <clears throat> but, um, It'll be fun, and, and, and it, is, it is something to look forward to. So again, if you've got, if you have family, and um, you've got some family history, this is a great place to squash all that and move forward because it's really, really important. Because part of part of generational wealth is family, mm -hmm. not just you know what you can get when somebody passes away, but part of generational wealth is family. Part of the wealth of what what you have mm -hmm. is family. You know. I mean, and, and you don't have to have a whole bunch of money. We, we, uh, we, we've already talked about Everybody's talked about that. You have a, a whole bunch of money to be wealthy. But if you've got family, you've got wealth. You do. Um, so you want to make sure that you continue to work on those relationships. Even if something happened. You know, if people don't talk to their relatives because something happened 20 years when they were ago. kids. And they can't even remember exactly the, what happened, but they just know, I don't talk to them. But they, but somehow they're still mad about it. <laughs> they don't even know what it was. That's not, that's not how you want to live. That's really not how you want to do So go ahead. If you have a chance to, to attend a family reunion, go ahead and go. Go ahead and go. And reattach with your family. And in-laws, go. And it's so important right now in my family because we are in a battle. Um in our community we have a, a there's a they really call it Thompson Valley but it's really a, a that was my grandmother's part side of the family but um, the Scott family has a little community and it's all Scots it's maybe about what six or seven seven houses or so in that little area and there's a big energy company that's trying to take the property take over the property. They just gonna put their stuff up there. Hey Philip. Which um which is very sad because our pro our property and our family there has been there for over a hundred years. So um 
it, we're, we're in a battle and you might see some of my husband, my husband has taken on and I, and I want to say I'm very, very proud of you, how Thank you've you. taken that on, even though it's not his blood family, family he is though. family. It I, is I, his family. I've been blessed enough to be engrafted into that family, and, and I feel that, that that this is this is this is a battle that I can help that I can help fight. So I'm going to help fight it. Large uh, energy company has decided to put a, a power line, high tension power line, 161 kV, which is a, which if you know anything about that, is a huge uh, power line um, right through that area, and they do it easily because it's it's the least expensive the least expensive way to go, um, and what we're trying to do is, first of all, to get them to move it really not far from where it is, but far enough to where there aren't safety concerns and aesthetic mm -hmm. concerns. Um, and they have not been forthcoming at all, so that's the battle. So you, you're going to see on my Facebook post uh, page for a while a number of posts about it, so you'll learn about it as we move forward. But it's family. You know, it's it's family. It's it's, and if you don't protect family, you you get that generational wealth stolen from you, and that's a problem with a lot of families, especially black families. Frankly, frankly, uh, they just sell and then they spend the money and it's gone. And it's nothing uh, left. And the property's of what the family worked hard to the get. The property's gone. The legacy's gone, and then the, that wealth is gone too. So it's worth fighting for. So that's my that's my emotional feelings on it, and that's why I, I'm going to I'm going to be there. You know, I I've already thought that there may be some days where I have to drive to Tallahassee, and then drive back to New York, and I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Um, and it's not just Jefferson County; it's also in Leon, Leon County. County. A lot of the a lot of people are losing Columbia. fighting for their property. There the in uh, yes, it's a lot. It's a lot. A big area in North Florida that is suffering because of this big energy um, power uh, company that's trying to take over the properties. I think uh, Philip. I think that that's probably going to be what happens. Yeah. Um, I you know we were hoping that we could deal uh, with people who are honest brokers, but they're not. And frankly, in my opinion. Um, but that will probably be how it ends up being how it ends up getting worked out. The only problem with that is that they've got they had seventeen billion dollars in revenue last year. They have all the money. They have all the money in the world, or at least most of it. Um, so yeah, that will probably be how it works out. Um, and we don't want much. We don't. We, nobody wants any money from them. We just want them we to want move. Our money. We, we want our property. We want them to put their line somewhere else. And there have been suggestions for them that they have summarily ignored. Um, so this is going to turn into a PR. This is going to turn into a PR campaign. Is what's going to turn into. Frankly. And the sad thing is, is this is not the first time that our family has been attacked by big, go go big government. government. Yeah, primarily because back when and and I know many of you know Interstate Ten goes right through our family property. And back then, I was so young, I knew had no idea what was going on. But my grandfather was alive, and he was the the owner of that. And um, he he dealt totally with it, and we're pretty sure that he got ripped off. And all of that property that was going that the interstate went through, he probably only got a couple of thousand dollars for it. So, and and like he said. We spend it, and that's it's gone. It's gone. And back then, they had no lawyers, no nothing that would help him. So um, it's the second time our family's being attacked this way. Yeah, um, we have um, engaged. Phil, you're right. We've engaged the media in the area, uh, and we're going to do more and and a lot more of that. And you're right. Big companies don't like negative attention. So mm -hmm. this is going to turn. This is probably going to turn into a PR campaign um, in ways that I don't think that Nextera, who the cool company is, uh, who owns Gulf Power and they own Florida Power and Light, really, really are, <clears throat> is expecting because there is a, a, a wonderful story to that, through that track of land uh, that we're going to start promoting very, very soon. So yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. 
Uh, Phil used to work for the <clears throat> Tampa Tribune back in the day. Okay. <clears throat> so he understands he understands a, a, a lot about all that kind of stuff. Well, we we appreciate any um, help or any, any suggestions or insights that any of you out there may have that can help our family um, make it through this battle because this is this is a, a true battle. We thought that. They had because at one time it was going to come right in the backyard of our family home and my brother's home, but then they switched it. But it's not far enough away. Ninety feet. That it's not going to be a health issue for most of the people that live there. So, um, <clears throat> it, it, it it's just sad. Yeah, yeah, and and the um, I did some research. The American Cancer Society and some of the international cancer societies are sort of agnostic on the health concerns of that kind of thing. Um, but you know what? There isn't any reason to take the chance when you can do something else. Um, mm -hmm. they've, they've not put the things up. We're not asking them to move something they've already done. We're asking them in their planning, you know, in, their, in the in planning, their planning stages to plan to have it some safe distance away. But again, you're right, Philip. Big companies don't like that sort of negative attention, and we're going to continue to bring it. We're going to bring them everything they don't like. So It's already started up there. Um, <clears throat> so my brother and cousins and all have been on the news, um, so it's already started. And they might end up being famous because they're going to be on the news a lot more. Yes. There you go. So that's what family is about. So family is about, you know, sometimes you have to get together and you have to fight together. Which is why you need, that's why you need family. That's why you need to go to those reunions. That's why you need to call people and talk to people you haven't talked to in years. Um, those things are super important. Uh, because Cause you're protecting your legacy. Because when, because when it all comes down to it, it's all you got, really. Mm -hmm. when, 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 when everything gets boiled away, it's what you have. Here, family. anyway. <laughs> Here, on this earth, that's all you have. You know? Friends are nice, but friends can be fickle. <laughs> Family can be fickle. Yeah, too, but, but but they can be fickle, but they can't go anywhere. No, they're, they're <laughs> stuck with you. They can just be mad. <laughs> it can be mad all you want, but you stuck with me. You can't help who you love. What's the phrase that your Uncle Richard used? Oh, yeah. I love you, and, I there's, love, and, love there's, you and, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, so I like that. I think I'll be. I think I'll yes. be. I think I'll be utilizing that moving forward. <laughs> um, so we are. Um, again, we're back from the back from our vacation. We're going to start. Yeah, you know what? I think they are because you know they're your boys over at Tampa Bay Times of Pravda, and they love these sort of stories. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I th yes, and um, Philip, if you know somebody um, over there. Send me an IM or an email, and um, I'll contact them because I've talked to everybody. I've talked to Representative Al Lawson, um, the U.S. Rep. I've talked to Jason Schof, Schof who's the Florida, uh, who's a um, Florida State Rep. I've talked to two of the county commissioners. <laughs> One of them I talked to on the phone for like an hour. Wow. Um, so yeah, and I will continue. To, and I sent an email to. Some people at Channel 6, WCTV, at Channel 6 in Tallahassee, I've not heard back from them, but they've done stories over there already. Already done stories, yes. So I know they're aware, and I know that they're active, so um, um, if you can get me to do a person, that would be cool. Who's that? I can't read that. Craig Pittman. Craig Pittman. I will do that. I will do that today, as a matter of fact, um, and make them aware of the story, so that'll be that'll be great. Because they're part, because the Times are part of a bigger, bigger newspaper syndicate than um, the mm -hmm. Tallahassee Democrat or the Jacksonville Times Onion. I mean Union. Uh, no, I say Times Onion because you know Bob Thurston, our friend, used to his dad used to write for them, and they called the Times on, Times Onion. So, Onions, okay. so that's why I'm not I'm not casting any aspersions on Jacksonville's newspaper. Uh, this is how I heard it. You know, when but I, when that's I was coming up. That's where we spent a lot of our time talking about with my brother. He has petitions. He's a big advocate on this thing in oh, the yeah, city. It, it directly and affects him. Yes, it really affects him because he has a beautiful home that he has built there. And he doesn't want to have to leave his home or for our property values to drop. So it's very important to him. Thank you, Philip. 
Yeah, you know, and and that's frankly um, that land has been because of because of, because of the concept concept of generational wealth has been passed down to them. That's been passed down to that generation of our yes. family. Um, our parents made sure that they had our pro our portion of the properties and everything delegated and and done out and uh, and so we uh, I had planned on having a retirement home there one day but um hmm yeah. that's part of the theft of generational wealth so and we are in the struggle and from time to time as, as things um um move forward or, or move, we'll let you know how that's going because that's something that's really important to us. Um, there you go. So so now you're all caught up. Yes, that's where and, we are. And Debbie's and getting ready to go to work for the first time in, what, six weeks? No. <laughs> <laughs> like I had a baby. I, wo I worked last week. You had a baby. <laughs> I worked you last week. <laughs> last Tuesday was my first day back oh, at work. It? Yeah, oh. last Tuesday. Oh. So I've been I've worked four days since we got back. <laughs> <laughs> You've only worked what? No, I no. Although you went to work that I same day. I would work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Mm -hmm. Four days. Oh. Four days. <laughs> because I'm working at a local theme park. You guys remember that I'm working at a local theme park um, as uh, as the second thing, and it's working out okay. It's working okay. I like them. They're nice people. Anyway, so that's what's up. You're all now. You're all caught up, um, and it's nice that we should say this morning. Good morning. We should say good morning to some of our family because what we find out is that um, a lot of our family, a lot of your family, watches this thing yes, that we do. do. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. They should. Well, they should, mm -hmm. but um, they watch, and um, hopefully. Um, we can um, do some some collaboration with them and and and, and, and get them on, get them on so you can, so you guys can meet them uh, because they're fun. Yes, they're a lot of fun. fun they're a lot of fun. All right, let's see. So we are um, again. We started late. Yes, we started late. And right. now we got to get going. <laughs> but we didn't want to miss out this Monday because last Monday we were too tired, um, and this Monday we <laughs> we wanted to to come in chat. And uh, keep keep this going. We will have a topic of concern on next Monday. Maybe. And uh, maybe we'll just that will be. We'll do a, a coffee mukbang. We'll just drink coffee. Drink coffee and talk. Sip coffee. A a a AMSR. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen it, that's some of the stupidest crap ever. AMSR. AMSR. <laughs> People love it on it, YouTube. Y'all on YouTube are insane, by the way. Y'all know <laughs> you can be going completely bonkers. Mukbangs. Mukbangs. We'll have a coffee drinking mukbang, or tea, because you can because you can sort of slurp tea. <laughs> For an hour <laughs> in the dark. And people watch it. <laughs> Is it saying? It's supposed to be very soothing for you. Is like it if really? you listen to it at night when you're going to bed. It seems dumb. It's very soothing for people who have trouble falling asleep. So that's how a lot of people get hooked on it. Hooked on it like it's a drug because there's something wrong with it. <laughs> it's a drug. But I, I found all this stuff about two years ago on YouTube and it's just... Uh, ooh. Now the AMSR, I don't get too much into that, but the mukbangs, I... They, they have interesting conversations. So check yeah. out YouTube. <laughs> check out YouTube. It's entertainment. Okay. I watch YouTube, what, like 80% of the time? We watch more YouTube than anything else. That's all there is to it. We watch more YouTube than anything else. So check out this channel on YouTube. If you're watching it on, on, on Facebook, thank you so much. I appreciate it greatly. Um, but watch this on YouTube. YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube now, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. It's a little thing underneath that says subscribe and the notification bell. Make sure it has a little thing lit up next to it. And that way you'll know every time we post a video. Mm -hmm. Do that. 
Um, we are not in a position where we're going to be, don't think you're going to be helping us make any money at this point because we're not anywhere near that. Nowhere close. We just want you but we to, want to share. share, to know when we share. So that's it. So if we do that for us, that'll be cool. All right, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So we love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Peace.